The number of Americans hospitalized with COVID-19 soared to record levels Tuesday, as the country faces a surge in coronavirus infections driven by the Omicron variant, and some states are bracing for dangerous hospital capacity problems and staffing shortages. Many hospitals are also grappling with staffing shortfalls as personnel get sick with COVID-19, forcing healthcare facilities to slash capacity and cancel non-essential services. Almost 18% of hospitals nationwide told HHS they're experiencing critical staffing shortages Tuesday, led by New Mexico, 53, 8%, Vermont, 52, 9%, and Rhode Island, 50%. The United States has faced record-breaking numbers of COVID-19 infections in recent days, with daily new cases soaring 52% in one week as of Sunday. Experts have blamed this new wave on the coronavirus fast-moving Omicron variant, which can elude people's immune defenses and undermine the effectiveness of vaccines. Researchers say Omicron is likely less severe than earlier forms of the virus, raising hopes that ICUs could avoid a capacity crisis, but hospitalizations have still risen as infections soar. In reaction, Maryland and Virginia have imposed states of emergency designed to boost hospital staffing levels. Some hospitals in Delaware reoriented staffing and shifted to crisis standards of care on Monday. New York ordered dozens of hospitals to halt non-essential services last weekend, and co. Child coronavirus hospitalizations have also jumped to their highest levels since the start of the pandemic in recent weeks, though hospitalization rates for adults and seniors remain significantly higher, according to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention data.